I would like to explain information cascades. Now, now, information cascades are about situations where every individual has private information about something. And this could be private information about the quality of a product, about the trustworthiness of a company. There's lots of different types of things where we have private information and yet we observe what people say publicly to try to figure out what everybody else's private information is about. So let's imagine that we have a marble bag with red and purple marbles and everybody takes an individual marble and can only see their own. Let's also imagine that anybody who guesses the most popular marble color is going to win a hundred dollars or something like that. So um, we come to the first person and we say, what is your guess about whether purple or red is most common in this classroom experiment? And this person, of course, the only information they have is their own marble, so they say, I'm going to guess red. And we go to the second person and we ask them the same question, what are you going to bet on, purple or red? And this person, of course, says red. Now here is where the problem occurs. So we go to this person and we say, what is your bet? Are you going to bet purple or are you going to bet red? So we, we kind of know that this person knows for sure that this person has chosen red and probably also knows that this person has red. So if they actually look at the full set of information available to them, so for this particular person, their most rational guess at this point is going to be red. They're going to say, I think the most popular color is red. They're saying that even though they have a purple marble, because of course these are the three marbles they know about, the more popular color here is red, so this person is going to say red. Now what's the problem? We get to the next person and the next person only knows their own draw, which is purple, and what other people have said. So let me write out what they've said. This person says, well I got purple, but the other three have said red. My best bet is that this marble jar has more reds than purple, so this next person says red. And as a matter of fact, as we go down the line, even though in this lineup, only 25% of the marbles are red, because the first two people had randomly drawn red, that is going to sort of continue through as an information cascade through the rest of the population. This is not an irrational force. This is completely rational based on the information people have about what other people have said. And of course this is going to happen. It's going to be the reason why the early reviews for a product have an outsized uh, influence on everybody's perception of the quality of the product. And there's going to be a lot of situations where this is true. So I hope this is giving you a sense for what is an information cascade? How does it work? Why is this a rational phenomenon? And yet a phenomenon that leads to all kinds of problems.